Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Sorry for the noise in the background. I've got the fan going. I have some iced coffee and I love these. This is uh, not a Java sock, but it's like a Java sock. My Sarah got this for me and it keeps your drink cold, but also the condensation in. Okay, also I just spilled some coffee on my desk. My little turby twist for my hair. Okay, I don't have a ton of stuff, but I have some stuff to share with you and I have a hat on because I have bad hair and I'm not gonna fix it because I'm going bike riding today. So there's that. All right, let's get moving. I'm just gonna pull these up bags one at a time. Okay, I found more gold toe socks. four pair of the men's. These are VaporTech Moisture Control, regularly $20 for this set of socks. Gold Toe brand, I mean, $1.25, I will give it to some folks, and if they don't want it, then I will be more than happy to donate it. I'd probably just bring it to work, bring them all to work and see if some of my guy coworkers would like some. Um, I found this jar it just says 16 ounce pet jar with lid. I don't know what pet jar means, but I like the color and I like it for storing little bitty craft things in my craft room. It's just plastic. I mean, it's nothing. There's no, there's no scent to it. It just has a blue hint. I'm assuming it was used for some type of product, but I'm happy to have it because I have lots of little bitty things that just need to be contained. And then I grabbed these. And these are, you know, hot pad holders. But if you saw my sewing episode where I showed you the zip pouch that I made, um, one of you asked me, and I can't remember your name, and I'm so sorry, if we could use um, pot holders because they already have the binding on them. So I'm gonna try and see if I can just somehow attach a zipper around the outside of this, and then I could sew some pockets on the inside. So I grabbed two different ones to try and see. So maybe this would be the front and this would be the back because they're both navy. And yeah, and then I could just sew some pockets on the inside. So I grabbed two sets of these to play around with. Uh, we'll see. It's bicycle season, so I'm a little slow on certain crafty things, but I'm trying. I'm trying, right? Okie dokie, we're getting the next bag. Um, I grabbed this, it was in there. I decorate with this at Christmas between this and the white and the black buffalo check. And so I thought, you know, these are nice fabric. This is similar to a homespun. I like the texture of it. And for Christmas time, this is always handy to have on stock. So I just grabbed two of those because they were available. I picked up a light bulb. Actually, I bought two. My closet behind me, the light bulb burnt out, and I like the 100 watt for brightness when there's only one overhead in a room. These are great, and they do, these are the LED, and they seem to last, and I like this one also on my outside light. So I just grabbed two to have. Um, I grabbed some of this chenille, and it is, um, what I use it for is cross stitching. I use it to embellish when, if I make like little pillows or something. And for a dollar, it's a great value and fall is coming and I will be using the brown. And I hope they have it in like an orange because I think twisting together an orange and a black and using it for like Halloween would be so fun. So I just grab that because I've, as they come out with new colors, the older colors go away. Like I have gray and white and black and I think I have pink or something up there in that cubicle right here in the basket is where I keep all of my supplies for finishing cross stitch. All right, that's trash because I had a snack. I got myself a snack. Ooh, what's going on in here? I picked up two of these for a crafty purpose. So I grabbed two. These are great. They're a dollar. I mean, they're great for paper towels, but they're good for crafting, especially if you want some vertical height. 
I picked up a couple of these. This is the Tiava Unsweet Tea in the Peach. And I've said before, I enjoy these. I grab two. I do half and half, so I'll do half tea, half water. Um, but I'm going to a picnic with the Pops, which is an outdoor concert, and I have to bring myself stuff to eat and drink. So I will bring iced tea because that I can also freeze some of the iced tea into ice cubes and put that in with it so it'll stay cold because it's going to be hot on July. Um, I grab these for Luna Dog. These are Purina Busy Bone Long Lasting Chew Meaty Middle Made with Real Pork. No artificial colors easily digestible and these are small and it's no rawhide no rawhide in them so when she comes to visit i like to have treats for her that she can have that take her a little longer to eat we have to, i mean she's got all the toys trust me but the cats get treats fairly regularly so i like to have things for luna so i grabbed a couple of those for her to have because she's cute also, I got these for Sarah and I to share, or I'll send them off with Sarah. But these are deep moisture hair masks. Masks strengthens damaged hair with natural shea butter and coconut. And I just don't feel like you can go wrong. We're gonna open this up. I need to find my scissor for my exacto knife. Um, it's from Precision Beauty. But I really feel like, you know, everybody needs a hair moisturizer and we both wear our hair curly. And so you, that's kind of the key. Oh, nice. So you get four individual masks. And it says even on here, one treatment. And it just says shampoo hair, apply a generous amount, comb through. If desired, cover with a shower cap and sit for 15 minutes and then rinse them out. So that's great. I mean, four of them for $1.25 is fantastic so she and i will share those i get them for us all the time so it's nothing that she needs to have right now all righty let's see what we have in here oh i grabbed another one of these cutting boards um it feels smooth enough to do polymer clay i want to make some polymer clay things at some point quick soon so I'm collecting some materials for that. And I know that if I bake it in my oven, I have to clean my oven after. So I want to do one bake, like one day of creating all the things and baking them. And then I'll run my oven on a clean. Um, these are great. They are not, this is not self healing. So if you cut on this with like your rotary cutter, I don't believe this will self heal, but that's okay. These are great. And they have the measuring lines on them, which are fantastic. And if you don't have a need in your life for the giant ones, these are perfect. So I grabbed that for here. This is my craft room. All right, I got this for Sarah as well. I'm sorry, this is pure vanilla. This little jar here is pure vanilla. I can tell you right now, this is four or $5 at the grocery store. This is not um, imitation. So, puro, pure. Um, this does have sugar in it though, so it's not something I would eat because it's vanilla extract, ethyl alcohol, water, glycerin, sugar, and vanilla something. So I can't have it, but she can. So I grabbed that for her. And then they also had from the same line, some sprinkles. So I grabbed these to share with her or if I decide to make like cupcakes for work or something. So you get the rainbow. I call these jimmies. They're sprinkles. They're like the soft ones. And then these are the crunchy, crunchy ones. And these are a pastel. Right. So these are the primary rainbow colors. And then they have this package, which is the hard crunchy ones. And then they have them in pastel. So if I do cupcakes, I'll use these. If not, I can share with Sarah. Cause she, when it's time for her to go back to school, she brings baked goods and things or the children. Let's see, oh, I, gra I grabbed this. Now, this is a reproduction. We all know it is BPA free, but I feel like everything at the Dollar Tree at this point is BPA free, or it should be. Do you have, 
do you remember seeing these in glass? These are, and I think they still sell them. This is not glass, it is 100% plastic. But I'm using this to go to the picnic. So I will put some half tea, half water in here, shake it up, and this whole thing will go with me to the picnic. I think it's like 32 ounces if I had to guess. 50, oh, it's 50 ounces, that's great. So I will take this, I like that the lid screws on and off, and then I'll bring ice and a cup and just pour this into my drink cup. So I'll bring this with iced tea, I think. Also, because it's plastic, it can go to the pool, with me, we try not to have glass at our pool because it's dangerous if it, you know, any pool I think is like that. Speaking of pool, it has been hot here. Yesterday, I think it hit 100. Today, it's only going to be in the 80s. So I am going to go bike ride. I'm taking the tag off the bottom. Hi, I got it. I am going to go bike ride this afternoon, but it'll be warmer. I mean, cooler by then. It should be not at least 100 out. So I do need to ride my bike. Yeah, remember, that's why I'm wearing my Pelotonia hat and we're not doing our hair because I'll have a helmet. Oh, yeah, I'll get this out of my way. I'll have a helmet on. So I thought these were great. They came in all different colors. Um, they seem to be, you know, pretty thick. Not as thick as the water bottles, I will say that. Um, but beaching, pool, lake, picnicking, this is great for plenty of fluid to bring because I, you know, it'll be hot. It's July evening. It'll be hot when I go. All right. And then this is the last of it. I know it's a small haul. I just haven't been finding stuff at my stores, but I am putting up other stuff for you. So that's good. Um, I did find this. I want to put it outside on my front porch, um, and hang it out there. And it's glass. Now, the one thing I will say by putting this on my porch, I maybe I should put some saran wrap or something over the top so it doesn't collect water. Or I could sit it on the ground on my porch next to some plants so the water won't get in it. But I loved this, I thought. And I think I've seen this at other people's stores. My store just got them. But I like it and I love the green, especially for summer, spring for outdoor. You can also, if you're having like an outdoor cookout, barbecue, backyard, you could get the little win the little steaks, put this in it, and then throw either the electric tea lights down in here or a candle and light them up or set them on the path or on your patio and let them kind of be outdoor lanterns. And I think that um, the, the tea lights that go for like 200 hours would be great to just drop down in here and you would get a really fun reflection because this glass is definitely textured. So I grabbed that for something. And then the last thing I got, I found is this little trash can. And I'm putting this next to my stitchy spot downstairs in the living room where I sit and do my crafting for trash. Because I tend to just throw trash on my um, coffee table and then I make a mess. So I'm like, well, if I have a little trash can and I could probably put the dog poop bags in here. I wonder if they would fit. I think that was one of them. I don't know. We're going to see. Ooh, maybe. This is a, a different brand than what I have. But, yeah, you can stretch that right out over there. Oh, that's perfect. So, you can put your little, it goes right to the bottom, your little dog poop bag. And now when I, this one I broke, but when I want to change the bag, I can just pull all that out and it keeps that clean. Also, if you're a crafter or a sewer, this would be great to just sit on your craft table, even without the lid, and you can just throw your scraps of craft right in here. Also, you could put yarn in here and maybe like melt a hole in the side and use this to hold your ball of yarn while you're knitting. You could have side coming out either side, and while you're knitting or crocheting, it'll pull your, and leave that here. I don't know. I saw people also using toilet paper rolls. So guys, that's everything. Like I said, I've been to like five or six stores. There just isn't a whole lot out right now. I'm hoping this, this little seasonal slump ends sooner rather than later and that we can, um, yeah, we can get ourselves back up and running. And 
I know the fall stuff is coming out. I was at Hobby Lobby and they have Thanksgiving out already. It's not on sale yet, but it's out. I'm like, oh, arr. But yeah, that's how it works. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a fantastic day and stay warm. And I will talk with you later. Bye. Don't stay warm. Stay cool. Stay cool.